Hi, everyone. Excited to be here with you today. I want to talk to you about how to have the perfect power hour. Now, for those of you who haven't met me yet, my name is Eric Johnson, creator and CEO of Teamsy, teamsy.com. It's uh, just a re really fun and elegant little CRM that helps you build your business. And before I even get into this topic of how to have a perfect power hour, I want you to know that after spending 15 years teaching people how to do a power hour in their business, how to build this whole concept of power hour to be incredibly leveraged and efficient with your time to spend an hour each day just doing the activities necessary to building your business successfully and nothing else, having that amazing amount of focus. After figuring out how to custom build this for thousands of people over 15 years, we finally built Teamsy that allows any one of you guys to just plug in and have a perfect power hour. So most of the hard work of this call is already done for you if you're using Teamsy. If you're not, you need to go get the free trial. We'll talk about it at the end of the call. Couple of things, your power hour, when you're building your business, you, you know, you guys need to understand something, whatever it is you're selling your products, nutritional supplements, skincare, makeup, I don't know, eyelash extensions, doesn't matter to me, whatever you're selling, that's not your business. That's not your business. You're in the lead generation business. Your business is generating new business. And that's what you do as a business owner. Your job is to generate new business. Okay. And we do that with relationship marketing. We do that by connecting with people consistently, right? By, by connecting with people, making their day, finding ways to help and serve people, deepening trust in our relationships so that we can become the trusted advisor in, in, in the people we know. We can become their trusted advisor, the person they count on for the thing that we solve, the problem that we solve. Okay. Sorry if I'm looking all over. I'm filming this on, on all the networks at once. So I'm looking at all my cameras. Got to leverage your time, right? That's what we're talking about is leveraging your time. You need to be in touch with people constantly. The, the, the job is generating leads and that is what your focus is in your power hour. Okay. Your power hour is not for organizing your desk. Your power hour is not for checking your emails. Your power hour is not for anything except outgoing, proactive connections with other people. Okay. So let me structure this for you guys. If you, um, if you are ready to crush a power hour, you have to be absolutely 100% totally organized and ready when the clock strikes 12 to start going in your power hour, okay? So if you're gonna do this the old fashioned way, you need to have planned ahead of time who exactly you're gonna reach out to during your power hour, what exactly you're gonna say to each person, the medium by which you will connect with them and how you will track it, okay? You can see why we built Teamsy because it does it all automatically. And if you're, if you're most of my audience here is in network marketing, you're going to be focusing on three groups of people, your prospects, which by the way, a prospect is every single human being that is not already on your team or already a customer of yours. Those are prospects. If you want to know how to define those, it's not people who are interested necessarily. You don't know yet. They're just, everybody's a prospect. The second group are your customers. These are people who have bought something from you. It doesn't matter if they're not current. Have they bought something from you? They're your customer, okay? And then there's your team, your distributors on your team. Three groups, prospects, customers, distributors. These are the people we'll be reaching out to in our power hour, okay? Intentionally in a specific manner. Now, again, if you're using Teamsy, it's all done for you. You just turn it on. It tells you who's up next in each one of those lists. There's no thinking or planning, which is the way we designed it because we want you to be focused, okay? So a couple tips before we get started, set aside time for this where you can be quiet and uninterrupted. Okay. You need time to be quiet and uninterrupted. Now, some of you don't have an hour. That's fine. You can do 15 minute power, 15 minute blocks, but make sure you set aside that time and you're intentional about it. Even if you're going to use gap time, let's say you're, you know, while you're in the carpool lane at school, getting ready to pick up your kids and you have to sit there for 15 minutes, plan ahead of time to use that time. Have your phone ready so that while you're parked, you know who you're going to connect with and you can get it done intentionally during that time. Okay. So make sure there's no distractions. I have four kids. I work from home, which means for me, a power hour has to happen before the sun rises. <laughs> Some of you may need to just get up earlier to do it. If you have kids crawling all over you right away, get up earlier. Okay. Get it done. 
but set aside specific time for it. The next thing is make sure you have no distractions. Put your phone on, on um, do not disturb. Put your computer on do not disturb, which is a great idea, by the way, because as you're sending messages to people, they'll respond and you don't actually want to see those yet. Why? Because you'll get distracted having a conversation with them. During your power hour, you're just sending outgoing proactive messages. As they respond, you just put them off a little bit till after your power hour is over. Okay. I just did a blog on this. I think it's going to post today. I don't think it's posted yet, but keep an eye out on the Teamsy website for the blog. It's a whole blog on how to rock your power hour. Um, and it, if you want to go back and reference that, go check out the blog. Later today, it should be posted. Probably an email will come out to you guys later today if you're on our email list with the blog link. Okay, so um, set aside the time. Make sure you have no distractions, okay? So what we want to do is start connecting with people on your prospect list first based on priority. Again, your, your warmest people first, and you're just going to send them a quick message to make their day. Just going to get them make someone's day mindset. Just, hey, Derek, I was thinking about you today. How the heck are you? What have you been up to? I'm hoping that you're having an awesome day. Okay, something simple like that. Again, for Teams users, we have the scripts all built into Teams before you makes it easy. Okay, just make someone's day. Just send those messages out to make someone's day. Okay, you can easily connect with 20 people in 30 minutes. Just sending them out. I like Facebook Messenger. That's what I do. You can do text, Facebook Messenger, whatever's easiest for you. Some of you guys are heavy um, Instagram users or um, even, even, um, Snapchat, whatever you can, however you connect with people, you connect with them the easiest way, send those messages out. Okay. So if you send out, um, my examples, like, you know, if you had 10 prospects, six customers and four distributors, that's 20 people. If you were going to connect with 10 of your prospects, then six of your customers then four of your distributors, 20 people take you 30 minutes to send those messages. Okay. Now here's the cool thing. You send 20 messages in your first half of your power hour, about 50% of those might respond, okay? So you've got 10 conversations started in 30 minutes. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Out of those 10 conversations, first of all, the 10 people who don't respond, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them because they will come, well, if you're using Teamsy, they'll just come back on your list down the road, okay? Um, if you're trying to work from notebooks and sticky pads and stuff, then you're going to figure out how to remember to connect with them again down the road. Don't worry about them right now, though. Focus on the ones that are responding. Now, out of the 10 people that respond to you, probably seven of those conversations will fizzle out pretty quickly and not get pick up too much steam. But you will have succeeded in connecting and making their day and depositing just a little bit, just a little bit into that relationship. Okay. And as time goes on and you connect over time, they'll be more open to talking to you. Now that brings us down to three out of 20 that are probably really good conversations that you're having. You're messaging back and forth and you're catching up. Some of you have been doing power hour for a little while now, and you get overwhelmed with just the th two or three a day that are good out of all the 20, you're getting overwhelmed, keeping all these conversations going. And what I have to say to you is good job. That's what it's about. It's about being overwhelmed with opportunity. Most people are overwhelmed with worry. I want you to be overwhelmed with opportunity. Big difference. Big difference. So out of the couple people who respond, you're having great conversations with them. Those are the people that you're talking a little deeper with. You're finding out where, they're, where they are in their life, getting caught up, finding out if there's a way you can help them. And then, you know, you let them know, how are you, Eric? Great. Tell them about what you're doing. Tell them what you're doing, why you're passionate about it, how you're helping other people. And ask them if they'd like some more information on it. That's all. Simple. If they say yes, great. I'm going to invite them to learn more. I'm going to bring them to, I'm going to take them to coffee or get them on a three-way call or have them try some product, something, and then follow up like a pro. Okay? I'll put them on my follow-ups list. If they say, no, I don't want anything right now. I'm not interested in any more information right now, Eric. It was great talking to you. Say, great. It was great talking to you, too. Okay, but if you do come across anybody who needs help with this area that I solve, whatever it is that you solve, please connect us. I'd be happy to help them for you. Okay, I'll, I'll keep you in mind, Eric. Great. That's how you leave off the nose. No big deal. And you know what? Do I set a follow up with this person? No, I keep them in my team Z flow. They come up again down the road and I just connect again socially. 
Hey, it's been a while since I checked in. How are you? What's going on? Oh, hey, good to hear from you again. Make sense? Now the people who said, yes, I'm interested, now I got them on my follow-ups list, which is the second half of your power hour is working your follow-ups list. These are the people who are interested that you've now given something to. You've, you've given them a link to purchase. You've, you've talked to them about the business opportunity. You've given them some samples to try. Now they're on your follow-ups list and you're following up. You're just messaging them. Your power hour looks like this. It's just sending messages. That's it. You go in, you message prospects, then you message your uh, your customers, then you message your team, then you message the people on your follow-ups list. Just checking in like I promised I would. Do you have any questions for me? Hey, I just want to let you know I'm here when you're ready. Uh, I was excited about the goals that we set together, and I'm here to help you achieve them when you're ready. Hey, I haven't heard from you in a while, but I just want you to know I'm here when you're ready. Like staying in touch, just connecting, 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 connecting. That's your power hour. You guys do this daily, daily. Use Teamsy, by the way, it makes it so easy, right? Go in there daily, do your power hour, connect. You'll create tons of conversations. You will have a pipeline full of interested people. The people who are not interested will have a deeper respect for you and the level of care that you provide and how you connect with people. They won't be alienated. Your relationships won't be damaged. You won't feel like they'll be like, wow, I really love the way he did that. And over time, a lot of them you'll build trust with and they will become interested. That's how it works. Your power hour is focused energy, focused time. I'm going to make 20 people's day today. And out of those 20 people whose day I make, a few of you will be ready right now and I can help you right now. That's how you do it. And if you're trying to recreate this yourself manually, you're working too hard. For less than a dollar a day, you can have Teams. You can actually go get a free trial for 30 days free. Okay? I see Miss Michelle's asking about the app. Michelle, do you know that we have a mobile, mobile version of Teams that works awesome? Most people work from their phones. Michelle, if you're not using the mobile version, you need to go. Remember to put this time aside. Don't just try to do it willy-nilly. You got to be intentional. It's your business. You got to feed it with intentional energy. Go make people's day, focus on helping, focus on connecting, and you will have a full pipeline. It will be so rewarding. God bless you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. See you later.